We burnished the foot of it. I'm going to use uh, this old piece of rod blank here and the size D3 and hoping you uh, be able to see this better. Now, I'll make two wraps to start my guide wrap. Two circles of the blank right at the guide foot. Then I'll cross my thread over. Try to keep my hands out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. It's a little clumsy. Now, I'll immediately start up the guide foot. Now, as far as tension, I, I say I wrap guides tight. I don't wrap them as tight as some people do. Uh, but tight and loose is a relative term. Now, you, you, you've got it just about right whenever your thread climbs up the guide foot. You can still move it around with the burnishing tool a little bit, but, but you feel pressure. And this is a tough one to try to explain on video. Uh, if you have it too tight, the tension will pull the thread down the guide foot as you try to come up it. You'll know if you have it too tight. You want it, you want it just loose enough that it will climb right up that guide foot. Okay, let's uh, cut the little tag end off. I wish there was some way I could demonstrate the uh, tension I'm using. You can't be too loose and you don't want to be too tight. If you get too tight, what I believe happens is the epoxy doesn't want to penetrate the thread the way it should. Uh, the thread will absorb some of it, but that's not what I want. I want the epoxy to completely uh, encircle my thread. Okay, we just go right on down the line, just like anyone else would wrap a guide. I don't worry about gaps at this point. I've got little bitty gaps in here. What I'll do is I'll come back with my burnishing tool and take them out before I apply my epoxy. Okay, now we want to put the uh, tie string in. Uh, I find it a good idea to always have at least five threads over any tag in, either end of the of the uh, wrap to keep it from pulling out. All right, we cut it off and pull it through. Now what I do is I, I get it snug. I don't pull it under. I get it right up tight. And I come back just above my pull string and cut the thread off. Then when I pull it through, I can see that it's going in a, a good uh, three-eighths of an inch. Uh, I'm sorry, not three-eighths of an inch, uh, three-sixteenths of an inch. I have plenty under there. I'm, I'm more than five threads under. And I don't have a nub sticking up that I have to deal with later. Take all of them. Thanks, Al. I'm not going to worry about getting this pretty. This is for demonstration. All right. I have two threads on the blank before I start at the guide. That's all I have. Now, if I wanted this to be a longer wrap, if I wanted to put bands out here, I would do it after I put a coat of epoxy on this. Um, I, I, I think, in my mind, I believe that people that are having problems with the epoxy cracking at the guide feet, I, I, I think they probably put in longer wraps on because I'm told that is the major cause, the major cause of that happening. I believe if you tried it this way, you might eliminate the problem. All right, now all that's left to do is put epoxy on this, and I'll, I'll show you how I mix it and apply it. Uh, we might get another little glitch in the film here because I've got to change positions again. Uh, have to turn everything off and move it. Okay, I'm going to get some epoxy on here, and then I'm going to tell you a couple of other